In the last 24 hours, we have identified 1,105 new cases of COVID-19 in Alberta. Sorry, 1,115 new cases of COVID-19 in Alberta. While this number is a little lower than the past few days, this dip is due to fewer tests. About 13,500 were completed yesterday, compared to over 19,000 the day before. Our provincial positivity rate sits at about 8.3%. There are now 348 people in hospital with COVID-19, including 66 in ICU. And that is why I am declaring a state of public health emergency in Alberta. We are also announcing a series of targeted measures approved by the COVID Cabinet Committee based on recommendations from the Chief Medical Officer of Health. These mandatory measures will place new restrictions on social gatherings, worship services, businesses, schools, and all Albertans. Believe me, these steps are not being taken lightly, and I certainly didn't go into public service, nor did any of the people sitting around our cabinet ta table, in order to impose restrictions on how people live their lives. But we believe these are the minimum restrictions needed right now to safeguard our health care system while avoiding widespread damage to people's livelihoods. We are doing everything we can to meet, to strike that balance. The first set of restrictions will target social gatherings across the province. Let me just be absolutely clear about this. Social gatherings are the biggest problem. Many people may think that a family dinner or get together with friends is, is no big deal, it's just normal. And you know, we don't imagine when we gather with family that people are gonna be transmitting a, a virus like this, but it is the key reason why COVID-19 is winning. Effective immediately, no or indoor social gatherings will be permitted. Outdoor social gatherings will be permitted to a maximum of 10 people. Indoor social contact should be limited to those within a single household. Now, if you're someone who lives alone, you may have up to two non-household social contacts. The limit on indoor social gatherings does not apply to those providing home-based services such as healthcare or home care, child care, and other services in a private residence. Funeral and wedding ceremonies must be limited to no more than 10 people and receptions will not be permitted. These gathering limits apply across the entire province. They'll stay in place until further notice and they're mandatory. Not following them could result in fines of $1,000 for ticketed offenses and up to $100,000 through the courts. We'll be using, as Premier said, the EAS, the Emergency Alert System, to ensure all Albertans are aware of these requirements. Now, turning to places of worship, in all regions under enhanced status, so in areas of the province where the community has 50 or more active cases per 100,000, places of worship are restricted to a maximum of one-third of normal in-person capacity, and masking will be required. As well, physical distancing between households must be maintained. In-person faith group meetings can continue, but attendees must maintain physical distancing and follow all public health measures. Turning to businesses, a number of new measures will take effect this Friday. And these measures are targeted at specific sectors to limit the spread of the virus, building on measures that are already in, in place here in Alberta. These restrictions fall, as Premier said, into three categories, closed, open with restrictions, and then the third, open by appointment only. In all regions under enhanced status, the following businesses are closed for in-person services. Banquet halls, conference centers, trade shows, concert venues, and community centers. Children's play places and indoor playgrounds must also close. All levels of team and individual sport must stop until an exemption, or sorry, unless an exemption is approved by application to the Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Hinshaw. So those are the restrictions for the businesses which fall into the closed category. Turning to businesses which may be open with restrictions in areas under enhanced status, restaurants, bars, pubs, and lounges may stay open, but they must follow public health guidance, including the, the following four points. A maximum of six people per table from a single household and no movement between tables. 
Second, if you live alone, you may dine with up to two other people as long as they're the same two people you've identified as your two close contacts. Third, only seated, uh, seated eating and drinking are allowed. And then last, no other services are allowed, such as bar service or entertainment, including billiards, games, or darts. We're also extending the previously announced requirement to stop liquor service at 10 p.m. and for bars and restaurants to close at 11 p.m. We encourage Albertans to continue using takeout, delivery, drive through and curbside pickup wherever possible. We'll also be increasing inspections to verify that public health measures are being followed. Es establishments that do not comply may face fines and orders. Next, I'll go over the um, restrictions for retail businesses. Retail service businesses in areas under enhanced status may remain open at this time, but we are restricting capacity to 25% of their limit under the Alberta Fire Code, or a minimum of five customers, whichever is more. This includes entertainment and event services, such as movie theaters, libraries, museums, and galleries and indoor entertainment like racing centers, bingo halls, water parks, and amusement parks. It also applies to fitness and recreation centers, pools and physical activity centers and facilities, including dance and yoga studios, martial arts, gymnastics, and private or public swimming pools. For these facilities, there can be no group fitness um, classes, training, team practices, or games. Facilities can be open for individual time uh, training or exercise only. And instructors can use a facility to broadcast virtual fitness classes from the facility, but there can be no group class. Casinos may remain open with slots only. Last call for liquor service is 10 p.m., same as restaurants and bars. And table games in casinos will not be allowed. Now, as I said, retail may, uh, rem uh, businesses may remain open, but are limited to 25% of their capacity under the Alberta Fire Code in the areas under enhanced status or a minimum of uh, five customers, whichever is uh, higher. This includes uh, grocery stores, pharmacies, clothing stores, computer and technology stores, hardware and automotive stores, and farmers markets, which are approved by Alberta Agriculture and Forestry. Now, outdoor seasonal markets like Christmas markets may also continue as long as public health measures are in place. And finally, the third category of restrictions for businesses for areas under enhanced status, we are limiting some businesses, as Premier said, to in-person services by appointment only. This means no walk-in services for hair salons, barbershops, aesthetics, or professional services. This also applies to hotels and motels, hunting and fishing lodges, and private one-on-one -on -one lessons such as music and personal training. No private group lessons will be permitted. And finally, doctors and other regulated health professionals can continue to care for their patients in person. As Premier noted, the point of these measures is to interrupt and slow the spread of the virus that we're seeing while still allowing businesses to work in ways which are safe throughout the province. Another key measure is masks. We've been one of the first jurisdictions to recognize the effectiveness of masks as use of masks can lower case rates. And so effective immediately, we are implementing a mandatory mask requirement for all indoor workplaces in Calgary and Edmonton and their surrounding communities. Masks should be worn in all indoor workplaces, except when alone in an office or a cubicle, safely distanced from others, or where uh, an appropriate barrier is in place. This includes any location where employees are present in person, and it applies to visitors, including delivery personnel and employees and contractors. It applies except in specific circumstances where masking can pose a safety risk to an employee. Let me also stress something Premier said. If you can work from home, you should work from home. Turning to education, after careful consideration, all students in grades 7 to 12 will move to at-home learning on November 30th. 
All other students will remain at school in person until December 18th. The winter break will be extended by a week of at-home learning, and then students will go back to school for in-person learning on January 11th, 2021. We're also announcing that diploma exams will be optional for the rest of the school year. Students and their parents can choose whether to write exams or receive an exemption for the April, June, and August 2021 exam sessions. And just to confirm, there are no changes to mask requirements for students in school. So if we do not uh, start to bend the curve with this latest round of measures and greater effort by Albertans, let, let me be blunt, we will impose stricter measures uh, likely in about three weeks' time. Uh, and uh, we will continue to assess it, but we're not going to let political pressure or ideological approaches to uh, cause indiscriminate damage to people's lives and livelihoods. We're going to protect the healthcare system using uh, targeted measures. We will have to be more restrictive if they aren't, don't work.